question number one. Write the general term of the number pattern. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. This is the number pattern of uh, multiples of four. So the general term can be written as four n. Question number two. List out the elements of the following set using a Venn diagram. In set, uh, set A is given as letters of the word Maharagam. I can use a closed plane figure and name it as capital A. Then I will start from M. M, A, H. Now you can't write A again. Then R, A, G, A. M. M, can, M cannot be written. So, uh, how many uh, letters are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, these are the elements of this Venn diagram set. Question number 3. You are given this to simplify. 9 tons, 304 kilograms, divide by 8. Tons, kilograms. Nine tons, three hundred four kilograms. Divide by eight. Eight times one is eight. One is remaining. That can be taken to the kilogram side. It becomes thousand. Then thousand plus uh, three hundred four is one thousand three hundred four kilograms. Now we have to divide it by 8. 8 times 1 is 8. Uh, the remaining is 5. Then take this 0 here. 8 times 6 is 48. Then the remaining is 2. Take this 4 here. 8 times 3 24. The remaining is 0. So the answer is 1 ton 163 kilograms. Question number 4. You are given to find the value of minus 4 to the power 2 into 3 to the power 2. Minus 4 to the power 2. You can expand this. Minus 4 multiplied by minus 4. Then 3 multiplied by 3. 4 times 4 is 16. M multiplication of two negative numbers become a positive. So 16. 3 times 3 is 9. 16 multiplied by 9. The answer is 144. Question number 5. Calculate the perimeter of the given figure. We have to take the addition of the surrounding lengths. Uh, if you uh, take the square, three sides uh, comes for the perimeter. So, 12 multiplied by 3. Then the uh, hypotenuse of the triangle and the other uh, remaining part, 5. 13 plus 5. 12 times 3 is 36. Here the uh, addition is 18. Total uh, perimeter is 54. 54, the unit is meters. Question number 6. Question number 6. Are the two angles X and Y in the figure adjacent angles? Give reasons. For the two angles to be adjacent, there must be a common arm. And a common vertex and both the angles should lie on either side of the common arm. So these two angles are not adjacent. No. What is the reason? There is no common arm here. There is no common arm. Then question number 7. 
write the number of faces and number of vertices in a regular dodecahedron in a regular dodecahedron there are 12 faces there are 12 faces number of faces is 12 then vertices vertices there are 20 vertices and also 30 edges question number 8 Write the value of the complement of 38. To find the complement, this angle should be subtracted from 90 degrees. 90 minus 38. Then the value uh, is 52. So the complement of 38 is 52 degrees. Question number 9. We are given this to fill. A blanket. Then multiplication, then plus 9 is here. Then divide by plus 3, multiplied by again a blanket equal to plus 108, divide by minus 9 equal to minus 12 then how to fill the blank cages if the answer is minus 9 here then this is a uh, positive number then uh, in the blank cage the answer will be a negative number to get the minus 9 here so minus 3 is the answer then here uh, plus 9 to take a uh, positive answer in this one also the integer must be a positive an answer so uh, plus 12 is the answer plus 12 12 multiplied by 9 is 108 then question number 10 if the area of a square land is 196 square meters, find the perimeter of it. First, we have to find the side of the square land. We can find it by taking the uh, square root of 196. That is 40. The unit is meters. Now, we can find the perimeter easily. Perimeter is equal to 14 plus 14 plus 14 plus 14. Now 14 multiplied by 4. 56 meters. Question number 11. If PQ and ST are straight lines, find the, if PQ and stay, uh, ST are straight lines, find the value of A. If these two are straight lines, uh, the angle 153 and then A plus 47 are vertically opposite angles. So we can write the equation A plus 47 degree is equal to 153 degree. A equals 153 minus 47. So the value is 106 degrees. Question number 12. 12xy. 12xy plus 8y square. Write the above algebraic expression as a product of two factors. What is the uh, common uh, factor here? Common to both terms. Four, the numerical, uh, if you consider the numerical term, four is common. Four, x is not common, x is not here, then we can take y out. Then if you divide 12xy by 4y, uh, you get 3x plus 2y. So these are the two factors, one is 4y, the other one is 3x plus 2y. Question number 13, minus 4 times 5x minus 2y plus 3. 
we are given this to simplify. That means we have to remove the bracket. Minus 4 times 5x. That is minus 20x. Then minus 4 times minus 2y. We can multiply it. Uh, minus minus becomes positive. Then 4 times 2 is 8y. Then minus 4 times plus 3 minus 12. This is the answer. Then question number 14. Find the value of minus 6 minus minus 5. Using the number line given. We are given this number line. Minus 6. Then minus 5. Minus 4. Minus 3. Minus 2. Minus 1. 0. Then uh, 1. 2. 3. Enough. Then first we have to mark minus 6 here. Then this is a subtraction. So we will uh, get the magnitude of the second directed number that is 5. Then uh, the direction of this number minus 5 is uh, to the negative direction. We have to take the opposite of it. That means to the positive direction. So 5 units should be moved to the positive direction. Then stops here. So the answer is minus 1. Answer minus 1. Question number 15. Express the area of the rectangle given using algebraic expression and simplify it. The length is given as 4p plus 3 and the breadth is 3p. Then 3p times 4p plus 3. We have to remove the bracket here. 3p times 4p. 12p squared plus 9p. Then question number 16. Arrange in ascending order. Arrange in ascending order. We are given this. Minus 1 uh, to the power 3. Then minus 2, 2 to the power 3. Then minus 2 to the power 4. First one, power of, uh, odd power of a negative number. That becomes minus. Then 1 into 1 into 1 is 1. Then minus 1 is the answer. Here 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. But uh, the odd power of a negative number. Then answer is minus. Then 2 times 2 times 2 times uh, 2 is 16. Then even power of a negative number. That becomes positive. So plus 16 is the answer. Now you can take them into the ascending order. The uh, smallest one here is minus 8. That means minus 2 to the power 3. Then this one. Minus 1 to the power 3. Last one is minus 2 to the power 4. That is the largest one. Question number 17. In a solid with straight edges, the number of edges is 9. Number of faces is 5 and uh, 5. Using the Euler's relationship, find the number of faces. In Euler's relationship, we can write it like this. Number of vertices plus number of faces is equal to number of edges plus 2. Then here we are finding the number of faces. Then number of, number of vertices. Then number of faces is given as 5. Number of edges is 9. 9 plus 2. V equals 9 plus 2 is 11 minus 5. Then number of vertices is 6. Question number 18. Uh, we are given this. 5 into 2 into 3 to the power 
to express as a product of power and evaluate product of power so uh, we can take the power to each number here 5 to the power 2 into 2 to the power 2 into 3 to the power 2 5 to the power 2 5 squared the value is 25 then 2 squared value is 4 3 squared 9 25 multiplied by 4 is 100 100 multiplied by 9 is 900 Question number 19 Find the square root of 484 using prime factors First we have to divide 484 using prime factors The first prime number is 2 2 times 242 then again divide by 2 121 now you can you have to divide this by the prime number 11 11 times 11 again by 11 11 times 1 now I can write 484 is equal to 2 into 2 into 11 into 11 this can be written as 2 uh, into 11 to the power of 2. Now, square root of 844 eight, uh, is equal to the square root of this one. Now, the square and the square root can be removed. Then the answer is 12 multiplied by 11, 22. Question number 20. Write the algebraic expression given as a product of two factors such that one factor is a negative number. Minus 6a plus 42b minus 18. One should be a negative number. So I can take minus 6 out here. If you take minus 6 out. Uh, then inside the bracket you have to write a here because minus 6 multiplied by plus a is minus 6 a. Then if you divide this one by uh, minus 6 it becomes minus then 42 divided by 6 is 7, 7 b. Then this should be positive because the positive uh, into a negative is uh, equal to negative. Then 18 divided by 6 is 3. So this is the answer.